Mein Kampf is a book written by Adolf Hitler while he was imprisoned in Landsberg prison in 1924. It is an autobiographical and political manifesto that outlines Hitler's ideologies and goals for Germany. Here is a summary of the book. Number 1 Background and Early Life Hitler begins the book by describing his childhood, family background and early experiences. He discusses his upbringing in Austria, his failed aspirations as an artist and his move to Munich, Germany. Number 2 World War 1 and Political Awakening. Hitler recounts his experiences as a soldier in World War 1 and how he spent his political beliefs. He expresses his deep sense of nationalism and his growing anti-Semitic views during this time. Number 3, The Foundation of National Socialism. Hitler outlines the founding principles of National Socialism or Nazism which he developed during his time in prison. He emphasizes the importance of racial purity, German nationalism and anti-Semitism. Number 4, Aryan supremacy and anti-semitism. One of the central themes of Mein Kampf is Hitler's belief in the superiority of the Aryan race. He argues that Aryans are the master race and should dominate over other races. He also blames Jews for many of the Germany's problems and advocates for their removal from society. Number 5, Lebensraum and expansion. Hitler discusses his desire for territorial expansion known as Lebensraum. He argues that Germany needs more living space to accommodate its growing population and to establish its dominance in Europe. Number 6, political strategy and propaganda. Hitler explains his political strategy and the importance of propaganda in gaining support for his ideas. He emphasizes the need for a strong charismatic leader to unite the masses and rally them behind his cause. Number 7 Opposition and Methods of Control. Hitler addresses the potential opposition to his movement and outlines his methods of controlling and eliminating dissent. He discusses the importance of propaganda, censorship and the suppression of political opponents. Number 8 The Future of Germany. In the final chapters Hitler envisions the future of Germany under his leadership. He outlines his plans for the reorganization of society, education and the economy all with the aim of creating a powerful, racially pure German nation. It is important to note that Mein Kampf is widely regarded as a dangerous and hateful book due to its promotion of racism, anti-Semitism and totalitarian ideologies. It played a significant role in Hitler's rise to power and implementation of Nazi policies in Germany.